<gasps> Why is there a girl with brown hairline in my bed? What's this? Where's Beverly gone? As you can see, the sun is shining. I think you should get up now. <laughs> Watch this, everyone. Woo! Look at that. Great for a Sunday. This is nice. Your glasses match your hair. You are super geek now. <laughs> right, I'm going downstairs. You're going to get a shower? Is he up? Oh, Jesus Christ. Morning, Ben. Good morning. Time to find a house. Yeah. I put an advert on Facebook for him last night to find a house somewhere and a few people messaged him so today hopefully he's going to find one. It's 11 o'clock Ben, you're not allowed to have lay-ins in other people's houses, that's the rules. Oh wow, he's up. Get on the search Ben, I'm just going to go to the shops. Good morning Cleavage Head, how are you? Good, how are you? I'm good too, I'm going to the shop. <laughs> Sunlight! And why would I be rushing out to the shop so early in the morning? It's because today's a special day! Hey, I'm really sorry about my squeaky voice this morning. I'm not sure what's going on. Oh yeah, so I'm gonna be soppy now. One year ago today, Beverly and I sort of got together for the first time. It was actually over the course of a few weeks, but we're not 16 anymore. We don't ask each other out like that. So what I thought I'd do today is head to Asda and buy some stuff for sandwiches, then take her out on a picnic. Yes, I know I am so gay. Oh, what to get, what to get, what to get. Egg mayonnaise, cheese and onion, this all sounds good. I think I'm going to have to get myself some Philadelphia cream cheese, yeah! Jesus Christ. Need some bread as well, don't we? Ooh, these look nice. Got to get some crisps as well. Bev likes crisps, but she doesn't like flavoured crisps, which I find really weird. Ooh, squares. I've not had these for a while. Ooh, there is again. Oh, that was an expensive picnic. Insert I love this autumn sunshine. I'm going to take her up into the mountains. I've not had any breakfast either. I don't think I've bought enough food for the picnic. Oops. I should think she'll be up and showered now. Oh, that's my landlord's car. Oh. Good morning. I bought you enough food so we can go on a picnic. Excellent. That's David out there, our landlord. He's talking about the internet being slow. There he goes, landlord done. He says he's going to make the internet faster. I bet, I'll bet you 50p that it's still the same speed in one month's time. And it's time to make some sandwiches. Shush, are you ready to go? Are you ready? What the hell are those things on your feet? <laughs> we are going to head up into the mountains if you like and have a picnic. Yes. Right, Gemma, look after him while he's here and make sure he finds somewhere to live, please. See you later. Bye. To wit, to woo. You look nice, the new Beverly Mason. I like her. Are you ready? Are you ready to go to the mountains? There is absolutely no wind out today. It's completely still and quite warm. I'll be honest, we're not entirely sure where we're going. We're just going to head into the middle of Wales and hope we find somewhere nice to have a little picnic. And do expect us to get lost because I've still got cold and I'm still being a bit of a retard. Oh damn it, I told you it wouldn't be long before we were lost. We're down some dodgy country road here. Also, did you notice yesterday my voice went full retard? I couldn't talk properly. It's this cold, it's totally horrible. So I'm sorry and I apologise if I do it again today. We've just spotted this sign, it says White Castle, Ancient Monument. Let's go see what this is. I feel like I'm being lured into something crap. These roads are ridiculously narrow. If another car decides to come the other way, I'm gonna to have to reverse about half a mile. Oh, great. <laughs> <coughs> oh my God, my cough's not gone away yet. If you stole the car. Yes, I stalled the car, okay. whoops. Oh, in my defense, we were going uphill down a small country lane behind a big old truck. Ah, uh, White Castle, what's this then? Oh, T-Junction. Oh, there's a lot of cars parked up here. It must be quite a tourist attraction. Uh, I'm not going to be able to get out of that side. There's lots of sting in there, so I'm going to have to fall out Bev's side. Oh. Ah, let's go and have a look. We're in now. We could eat here, I guess, couldn't we? Yeah. How much is it? 260 each. Is that students? No, 225 if you're a student. Oh, we're students. I've got three pounds. Bloody cheek of it, eh? £4.50 for two students, last of the big spenders. Well, on first impressions, it's not very white, is it? And it's falling down. It's got little bits of white on it, though. Why does every castle in England have to fall down? It's boring. Look, there's picnic benches. Shall I go and get the sandwiches? Yes. So while we're out gallivanting in the middle of Wales, eating our picnic in the middle of a castle, tell us what you're doing. What are you doing on this Sunday? Watching the Formula One? Is it on today? Watching some sports? Football? Going out to the park? Still in bed? Tell me what you're doing. I'm interested. Bev just says she prefers to stay in bed. With you. <laughs> oh, it's quite nice, really. Where shall we sit? 
Oh, the grass is all really squidgy and nice. We're going to sit over there on that table. I present to you crisps. We've got Philadelphia cream cheese sandwiches. We've got egg mayonnaise sandwiches. And we've even got little mini roll things. <laughs> ah, best day ever. This is a nice little find here. It's quite chilly here now and I'm full up from sandwiches. And anyway, something I want to talk to you about from comments from yesterday's video. What the hell is this about liking her boots? How can you like those silly up... <laughs> I don't know what to say, they're horrible. So we've been together a year and we've been on holiday how many times? Lots, can't remember. <laughs> <laughs> and who do you love the most? You. What, more than your ex-boyfriend? Of course. That skank. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, that was a little bit childish of me, but yeah, he was a skank. <laughs> Beverly, what the hell are you doing? You don't really blend in there, babe. She thinks now she's a countess, she can do anything in these castles. <laughs> it's nice here, isn't it? We can get all my photos up on the walls when I buy the place. I don't think I'm going to be able to eat any more sandwiches, not for a while yet, anyway. <laughs> you know what I've not done for a long time? What? Chuck my phone up in the air really high. Ooh. Shall I do it now? Yes. <laughs> Three, two, one. <laughs> and again, and again, but slower this time. <laughs> You've got all dizzy. <laughs> Have you seen a nice photo? That does look good. We've got to cross over this bridge to get into the actual castle. There's a proper moat here. <laughs> they got scaffolding up on the bridge as well. How realistic. See, that's the moat down there. It goes all the way around the castle. Ha uh ha! -huh. There's quite a few people in here, actually. Where are you going? <laughs> I think we can climb to the top of that up there. Up we go. We're trying to get up there. Oh, these castles have bloody steep steps. What are they like back in the dark ages? Oh, wow, what a nice view. You can see all the mountains and all the green. That's the castle grounds just down there where we've just been. Over the other side, the other side of the moat, we had our picnic down there on that table. I take back what I said earlier. It's a good job we took that little road down to the White Castle, isn't it? We've got a Canon 5D Mark II. We've got two Polaroid cameras. We've got your Canon 5D. We've got a large format camera. We've got a medium format camera. And you're taking a photo of that view with your friggin' iPhone. We've got a pinhole as well. <laughs> We're going to head down. My legs have gone funny. I don't like heights much. Where shall we go next, babe? Shall we head back home? Um, yeah, maybe. Been a pretty nice day, really, hasn't it? I love Sundays like this. You would have thought a day like this would be a lot busier, though, wouldn't you? It's not very well known, I don't think. It's a place called White Castle and a place called Monmouth or near Monmouth. I'm not quite sure. White Castle's name derives from the coat of white rendering which once covered its outer walls. Apparently that bad boy's 800 years bloody old. No wonder it's falling down, eh? <laughs> I'd look a bit crumbly if I was 800 years old. You look crumbly now, babe. Aww. Homeward bound then. We'll be visiting there again. Probably take Gemma and Tom along or something. Uh-oh, Sam versus horse. Oh, she's getting out of the way for us. That's nice. I've just pulled over by some mountains for a little chill out. And can you check the cinema times? Because we can go see a film tonight or something. Okay. What have we got on then? Alpha Omega 3D. No idea what it is. Buried. Seen it. Death and Life of Charlie Sinclair. Boring. Despicable Me 2D. Gonna be boring. Life as we know it, Made in Dagenham, Marble Duke, Mr. Nice, Jesus Christ. The whole in 3D, no, the other guy's seen it. Social Network, seen it twice. The town, seen it. Vampires suck, no thanks. Wall Street, money, never seen it, seen it. Is there any there you want to see? We're just passing through Abergavenny now. Lots of motorbikes here. Instead of going to the movies, we could watch a DVD you haven't seen yet, perhaps. There's a car boot sale. Do you want to have a look around it? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, me too. Car boot sale. There's hundreds of cars in there. What the hell? You got any money? I haven't got any money either. What's the point of going to a car boot sale? They don't take cards. Uh, yeah, back on the road again. There's no point in going there. We've got no money. It's pointless. It's pointless having this clip in the video. I think I'm going to cut it out. If I haven't cut it out, today must have been a rubbish video. I do wonder if Ben's gone out and found himself a house yet. I hope so when we get back. I don't want him sleeping there another freaking night. I don't mind, really, but he needs to get himself sorted, doesn't he? Back home in time for the last barbecue of the summer. If only I ate meat. Sorry darling, only vegetable kebabs for me. And we're at home. I might have a little go on power riders. There's no Ben indoors, baby. Must be out having a lunch or something. <laughs> However, one hour later, everybody's here. Hello, you two. How's your day been? Brilliant. <laughs> Please tell me you found somewhere to live. Hopefully. 
You'll be out of here tomorrow. Yep. Woohoo! I heard your football team won. Yeah. Everton, the fake side of Liverpool, beat Liverpool today at football. <laughs> but to be honest, I couldn't care less. The only football I like to play is Power Rise at football. I fancy a little play on him again, actually. Bev's in bed upstairs asleep at the moment. Do you want to come and play Power Rise at football again? You ready to get your ass kicked on a guy stood on springs? Looks like Gemma wants some too. Oh, rubbish. The Power Rise shoe's just fallen off. Damn it, I can't play. I've managed to put it back on just temporarily. Let's hope it stays there. I can't play one touch. Well, I can. I'm pretty goddamn good on these things. Oh, oh, oh God. Okay, Gem, that was your bad pass, not my bad running. This is the best, most goddamn fun exercise that I've ever done in my life. Oh, oh it is the end of our game. They had to break eventually after the beating I gave them, didn't they? Hello, Beverly. I'm glad she's awake so I can show her this new invention I found on my laptop, which is absolutely amazing. It involves my iPad. You've got to see this. Keep watching. Here we have my laptop, as normal. Everyone's got a laptop. Everyone knows what a laptop looks like. Whoops, I've got too many icons on my screen. Oh, this looks like my laptop as well. That's my laptop. Do you mean my iPad is running my laptop? <gasps> this is absolutely fantastic, this program I find. I can use my laptop on my uh, iPad. Just fantastic. So I can use it from anywhere. So you see I'll switch things on this screen and it shows up on that screen as well. <gasps> can I say this makes me technologically wet? Yes, you can. It's amazing, isn't it? <laughs> That is just awesome. Absolutely everything is running on the iPad that runs on the computer. Videos, opening pictures, any program I want to open, it's all running. This is brilliant. It's so amazingly fast as well. Look, I'll click on yesterday's video. It's running! Look, it's running on the iPad. This is the coolest application I have ever had on my iPad. Hands down. I can't recommend it more. If you've got an iPad, get Splash Top Remote. It is brilliant. I'm running Outlook Express on my friggin' iPad, amazing. And have a look at this sunset out here. Ah, oh, that is gorgeous. Happy one year anniversary. Oh.